So good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to try and be fast. This is Erica. You're on my channel. Thank you for visiting. I'm doing a haul. Um, wow, it's a big one. It's from um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, everybody, I decided to join in and go shop. Um, I spent way more than I planned on, but I know I got some bargains. So I'm working on a mini album, and you always need... 12 by 12 paper when you're working on a mini album it sh can't be too hard so this is white 65 weight 65 pound weight this is um craft and for some reason i think you get more sheets and you get 25 versus hmm 25 no i guess craft just um weighs more so that's the that's that and uh and another white working on a baby when I like to do brown but I'm working on a baby when you can't really do that I'll keep going with paper um, this is some really nice paper studio everything by paper studio is on sale it was a dollar fifty I don't know if you can see that yellow label I do not have the best light in the world <sighs> um, beautiful flowery paper it's some um, it's called Red Barn Floral, 14 inches by 20 feet, and it's wrapping paper, but I have a feeling it's kind of on the heavy side. It looks like it has some texture to it, and there's lots of things I could use this for, I am sure. Okay, more paper. All right, everybody's been raving about petals and blooms. This is probably backwards. Um, I don't have a lot of storage space for 12 by 12, so I bought a six by six and i'm even gonna try and make a very tiny um, mini album with this maybe four by four okay paper paper another paper working on the mini album as i said wow do mini albums take a lot of um designer paper Oof, wow so i'm trying to kind of just use some plain paper and maybe up the game a little bit with some stickers and little add-ons and so this is by the paper studio and I'm gonna use them to try and extend the paper so I don't have to buy so much paper it's really kind of weird okay we'll go to that it's it for paper let's go to the little sundry things everybody loves bows dollar 50 paper studio Whoop. 125 paper studio clips 125 more bows Paper Studio, their flea market line. These little bags are cute. When you have um, swaps and you need to give things away and you don't want to part with your real cool stuff, and you ladies know exactly what I mean. Yeah, you out there. <laughs> these things come in handy because you can just put a couple of these little, Tamika calls them doodads. You can just put a couple of these in a pretty bag and you're kind of done. All right, here's another one. Keys. Um, it's a, a dollar, spare parts, you know, charms, whatever. Uh, let's see, pretty lace. Pretty lace, there we go. Ribbon, they call it ribbon, but it's really a pretty lace. And I'm hoping it's a little stretchy, because it might work for the album that I'm making. Doesn't say it's stretchy. Mm, well, we'll make it work. Alrighty. Um, ha, one dollar, that washi tape that everybody is um, using as the... Uh, placemat so to speak I know it's not a placemat but your surface that you do your videos on um, hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna take this across my desk or not but there's a lot of it so I might do that I just might do that all right and here's some more washi paper studio you know you can't have enough of the thin stuff when you have a small traveler's notebook um, and so I do and so there we go uh, let's see. Oop, one more spare part. 75 cents and it's crosses. Easter's coming. Sure, I'll be able to make use out of them. Um, okay, felt pads. If you're making paper clips, um, you know, you, you need something soft on the opposite side of um, the clip. Like, see, well, this is not a good example because it's not a normal paper clip. But you need something soft on the other side so it doesn't scratch up your um, book. And so these things are $3.99 as a rule, and it's just the right size, and you get a ton of them, and they were $0.99. Cents. I couldn't say no. All righty. Oh, another spare part. $1. More charms and stuff. You can put these on your 
TNs, your, yeah, they come in handy. Alrighty, let's see, oh, one more. This, this was probably the most reasonable stuff. I don't like this stuff, I really don't. It was one dollar. Um, if I don't use it for anything but to wrap a present, it's worth it. Yeah. Alright, here come the stamps. Okay, teacher. Two dollars. I almost didn't buy this because I do have quite a few teacher stamps, but I just got a kick out of this. The apple shape was very kind of kitty, and I still have one granddaughter. She's only ten. I figure I can use this for two more years. Uh, the influence of a good teacher can never be erased. Oh my gosh. Amen. I still remember my third grade teacher. I can't remember the kindergarten, but third grade truly, truly just, um, she set the tone for me, um, for a lot of the things that I do now in my life. Okay. That one. And okay. I've got a thousand coffees. I know I love you more than coffee, but please don't make me prove it. But $2, you know, it's a nice focal point for a coffee card. Let's see. Okay. Okay, a princess crown, $1.75. The stamp abilities and the paper studio line were the ones that were having the biggest, uh, the products that they had the biggest sales on. I figure I can stamp this at the top of a card or in the middle of a card and give it to a little girl, a four-year-old who's daddy's princess, mommy's princess, whatever. Fourth of July, I don't have enough of... Um, commemorative stamps for the United States holidays, Memorial Day, Veterans Day. And this is a banner. And, you know, you can just go from there. Put the banner at the top, boom, go from there. All righty. And a uh, happy Easter. One of the things they were doing all the time was covering up the doggone stamps with the prices. I was like, why can't you put them on the side? That's just wishing you a happy Easter. I like that it is um, straight up and down, horizontal, right, I think, instead of... Um, across. I had lots of bunnies and little chicks and stuff and so I'm sure I'll be able to use that this year. This almost this month. All right. Now the two most expensive items. Lord knows I did not want to pay 20 bucks for this. I really didn't. And Lord knows I have an envelope board. Not just an envelope board, but I probably have like pff, green sneakers used to have these envelope templates. But I looked at this before, and when you look at something two or three times, I really believe God or somebody, God, I believe in God, God's trying to tell me to just go ahead and buy the doggone thing. You wonder why I didn't use the 40 cent per coupon. I will show you why in a moment. But um, this is a Sissix. It's thinlets. I like thinlets. Um, it just has all this nice little stuff to decorate the envelope flap with, and it's got hello and thank you and celebrate and congrats and happy birthday. I can use this, and I think this is an envelope liner right here. I don't know if you can really see that, but I think that's what it is. I'm not going to open it because I think I only have 10 minutes on my videos because I don't pay them anything. All right, and last, oh, two minutes. Okay, for about a year and a half, they've been showing these everywhere. Um chameleons. I sort of watched a demo, but didn't pay a lot of attention to it because I'm like, good Lord, how many more Copics do I need? You know, I got Copics coming out of the yin yang right up there. And so I just was kind of, I'm afraid to turn this. You'll, ugh, if I turn it, ah, okay. So anyway, yeah, I probably have a thousand dollars worth of Copics as do most of us. So I was leery as to whether or not I should buy this, but $26.99, that's what I used my 40% coupon on. This is only one group of um, shadings. I just really want to try it. Buy floral tones. I figured you can't go wrong with floral, especially with Easter coming. I want to try them. I'm going to look at as many um, tutorials as I possibly can since they cost so much. They are refillable. As a matter of fact, they had refills there, but... I don't think I'll be investing a ton in them unless they really turn out to be absolutely um, amazing. And I really hope they're not amazing because, oh gosh, <laughs> I've got enough to color with and I don't even do all that much coloring. So that's my haul from Hobby Lobby today. And um, wow, I got to lay off the sauce because I got a couple of bills to pay. Uh, Car bills, dog bills, and hmm, okay.
So this is it, guys. You don't see hauls from me often, but I'm always buying. Oh, I ran into Michael's and bought this really quick. Jell Roll, Jelly Roll, white pen, and the blender pen by Tombow. Because I got a lot of Tombow markers that I don't use. Well, that is it, for real. And um, I will have another haul. I'm going to do an unboxing of my Hero Arts Monthly Kit, which I've been getting for quite some time, over a year. And most of the time I like it, but most of the time I don't fully get the use out of it that I wish I did. But the price is right, and so I use it. Also, I'm a planner girl. And so I'm going to switch out. Plan I'm pretty much Cheek Sparrow. I mean, I'm just really sold on her. I've tried Sojourner. I never love it. I didn't, I didn't love it. Well, I only tried one, but still. I've never had a Foxy fix. But anywho, um, this is my baby. And um, <sighs> sometimes I just kind of don't do what I need to do in it. I think life would be easier if I did. So I got some stuff from 1407 Planners. And um, I'll do a video on that. It's going to be quick because it's just, it's, it's just stuff. Okay, everybody have a good day. Bye.